Am I tripping? Oh, hell no. Nah. Give me the hell out of here. I don't like this. Not at all. Oh, hell no. Nah. They got machetes in. Ah! It's an actual lion? What do you mean you can't bring it over? You to, you said you were going to bring it over last week. It's been two weeks. You wonder why your grandma's back hurting, huh? What? I broke it. I broke it. And her titties smell like barbecue sauce. Can't stand these great fuckers. <laughs> How did he say that? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. I'm going to keep this short. This is the light button. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do today. Probably some stories, some strangers. I, we just go have some fun, man. I took like a one hour break in between episodes. And uh, that's the only thing I can think about. I'm saying that. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. <laughs> what the it was just the anger behind it. I think that's what it was. The anger behind it. <laughs> it wasn't even anger. It was frustration behind when he said that. Hold up. I think there's a stranger over here. Hello? Is anybody here? Hey there, friend. Come. Stop on by for a moment. Oh, you look like a crackhead. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. That is true. But That's very true. But we've a tiny bit of its potential. That is probably true, too. There are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains. You scare me. The plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Okay, cool. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Oh, bet. Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. Okay. Wait. I'm looking for a plant called Yarrow. Oh, that's easy. Distinguish it by its yeah. red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I have I really have it. Yeah, here. What to say? <laughs> Let's see how this takes. There's a uh, bounty hunter's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You least see the bounty hunters over there. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Who's that? Horse this survivor? Cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Okay. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. How do you know my name? Oh, hell nah. All right, let's get going before the bounty hunter show up. Bro, last episode was insane when you think about it, bro. We got captured by uh, the Como Driscos or Driscolls. And the only thing I can think about is that dude, this, that slight fucker. <laughs> Slave fuckers. <laughs> if you don't know, we have a new horse. Little Squirt didn't die. We just, you know. I like this horse. I usually use this horse for off camera stuff. But right now I'm trying to record as many episodes as possible so I can be consistent and not have to put all this back on. Like it's it's a I mean, having to change clothes every time is a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. So next time I do do a series, I'm not doing this. I'm not. I've never done this before. I don't know why I chose to do it today. Well, not today. This month and probably next month too. <laughs> And I gotta watch this after this. So like, I gotta record as many episodes. Another question mark. Don't tell me that's a clown. That's a clown, we got a problem. Just keep your guns out, just in case. You good? Come on. What the devil are you looking at? I'm looking at you. I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. 
Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. Yeah. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. You're not a... The animal wrangler. Watch her. Tame wild What'd she do? And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. I am perplexed. What happened? It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. <laughs> what? My animals. They I'm buggered. I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, sir. Never mind. We done. A fantastic we can go. We done. Zebra I'm already done. From the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. I ain't never seen a zebra. I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger, a lion, a lion or a zebra roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. I can't call you. All right. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. All right, mistress oh. of effing danger. I actually do want to catch a zebra real quick. Find out it'd be pretty hard to miss a zebra. Unless this is it. This isn't a zebra. That's a zebra. Wait, wait, wait. I want to study it. Wait. It's a mule? This ain't even a real... Hold up, bruh. He out here scamming people. It's just painted black and white. The noises it's making is making me uncomfortable. Please stop. He's your zebra. You found him, our uh, zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. Hoodwink? Our audience. Your. <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <clears throat> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps something mundane into something extraordinary this dude crazy it's the difference between prose and poetry it's alchemy we're selling dreams dear boy well as long as, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. Uh, but, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back. He's gonna try to scam me, bro. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. What? Find the tiger handler. Wait, wait, he took the lion to get, or he took the tiger to get the lion, or took the lion to get the tiger, I forgot. Oh, it's a girl. Or man, I don't. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Hi. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't he? Oh, from Valentine, I think. <laughs> he might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. The dog. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. How did I get... 
course it is Shiro's. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. Looks like like blood to me. What's this shit? Aw, oh, dang. Aww. Oh, darn. Aww. Oh. dog. X dog X lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. Huh? And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, oh, you're like, why? Wants the other half of its dinner. That's adorable. The other half? Really? I'm going to put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind <clears throat> that log then. Okay. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Oh, having any luck. I feel so bad. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Now that's true. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. He has his blood all over him. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. I'm a crackhead for studying it, my boy. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Hello, awareness. All right. Let's go. We got her. Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Your thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. Is a cougar not good enough? I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Hello, Sally. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and well, you can probably tell in this field he's the ace of spades. Hmm. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope one day to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. Dude. I'd say he got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. I believe in you, girl. Or you look like Tigger. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. We found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. Uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Little dog. Uh, you yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. 
I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you want it. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. A sar doing. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not royal command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary bloody lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. <laughs> Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. Emerald As you know, Ranch. We're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. See you later. How far is Emerald Ranch? Oh, no, it's right up here. Yeah. Oh, brother. Golly. Oh, the horse ran into the wall. What the heck? Wait, I thought, is it not just another dog? I am holding it. Hold yours. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a <laughs> It looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Psychopath open the door like that. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. What was actually like actual? A dog paws. I mean, dog prints. What you done? Look what you done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. What? It's actually a. Those are. <laughs> it's an actual lion. How do you? Why do you have a dog, a lion, and then a? Oh my gosh. Take trophy. Oh yeah. He murdered a horse. He murdered a couple animals. A dude. RIP. Hey yo, you guys need to come straight. You can't say a lion and then show me a dog and then say another lion. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for- You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I a knew. A goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell. This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky. Is that a ruby? From the mines of Elf. That thing fake as hell. As green as the rain. Put that on your neck. Watch what happen. As the Amazon. And as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared that thing to the fake. Truth. That thing is fake. Wait, I shouldn't. What would daddy say? Your daddy ain't here. 
And we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. So long. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. I wonder if you see like people like that in the next game or in the older game. And I don't mean strangers, I mean like actually those two. Cause it'd be actually cool to see her like, like a real, I don't even know what you call that, but like, like, you know what I mean? All right. If you don't remember one of the episodes, we, uh, we talked to a dude and he wants to meet a whole bunch of gunslingers or he wants me to, I guess, talk to them. You there. Oh, hello. You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them now. Can you stop pointing that gun at me? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right, get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now, set it off. Why do I have a boat again? That plunger. You see a this game is annoying me. Every time I hop off my thing, it's a fucking boat action. Fuck this shit. Lady, I can't see you much in need of my help. You're lucky I'm all Like, come on, bro. Every time I get in a fight, I just realize I don't have the gun that I want. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say... But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Oh. Oh! You looking good, girl. Got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. 
You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Why is there more bounty hunter? Bruh. The fact that she don't know I got a 1.5k bounty on me. They probably came for me. Yeah. What? Am I tripping? Oh hell no, nah. give me the hell out of here. Give me the hell out of here, bro. Is that a bear? And my horse is of course he's walking towards it. What's the commotion? You a loon or something? This night folk country. Night folk. I can look after myself. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should clear out though if you're so troubled by things of the night. I just heard voices. I'm it's actually scared. Folk. And I would. It's just they on my property. Hey, w would you help me get them off? Well, I I'd pay you for your troubles. Yeah. You pay me, huh? Maybe. Well, show me where this place is. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's just over there. You good man, partner. Them night folk would put me on a pipe. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Night folk. Oh, they bad people. Bad folk. What are you talking about, the night folk? I should be a whole bunch of black people having a party. I've never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Mm -mm. What kind of evil <laughs> don't make no sound? It's bad, all right. That's some evil. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here on my own, the most part. But I still speak, you know? Well, I talk to myself. Ain't no one else around. Chew my own goddamn ear off. I can imagine. Now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snake bit more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit, though. Got that to be thankful for, at least. Gator bites is nasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then turtle bites is bad, too. They call them snapping for a reason. Yeah, well, I've been known to snap, too. So, how about we keep it down? Oh, yes, partner. Yep. Uh huh. That's probably best. Hey. I don't like this game. Why is it so creepy over here? Don't you worry about no bats. I tell you when you got to worry. All right. Oh, I think we should be worrying about the bats. <laughs> Look at that. He fresh. You see what I mean? This night folk work. I knew this fella. Good fella. Didn't deserve this. Now come on. More damn bats. Slow down. Hey, hey. Poor fella on a tree been here for years. You think it's bad being a dead fella on a tree? It's worse when you're a live one with a stick through you. What is your home? They need to die they right die. now. They might not speak, but they sure can see. Now, look out here, there's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it?
What if he's the one that's been doing all this? Here we go. Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rat gun. Okay. Do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Ooh, poor fella. Okay. I think my reward really is just killing them. Oh boy, that's gotta be more of them. Wait here. I'll see. I don't like this. Not at all. Oh, hell no, I got machetes and. Get down. Oh, no. This is probably the people that were shooting arrows at me. What the hell you got going on around here? They're dead. Oh. Well, well. Okay. I got something for you now. How you doing? Give me a moment. Ooh. What? What is that? Here you go, partner. What is this? Swamp trash? No, that's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. No. Night folk won't come here anymore. They dumb, but they ain't stupid. Well, so long now. Gold tooth. How did this turn day out of nowhere? I can get a machete now thinking about it. I got a machete. <laughs> I was later. All right, we're back at camp. I want to at least get one story mission done. At least one. What's up? What's up, Tarani? Not at all. Got shot, stabbed. I know you, you know. I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Okay. I still have this dang skin on my back. Where do we find this friend of you? That Charles mission. Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. That is true. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. Okay. Okay. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Yeah, I'm letting you talk. I gotta cut my hair. I forgot to cut it. I'm gonna cut it probably like 
I don't know. I'm gonna be another video for you guys, so you're gonna have to deal with Santa Claus for a while. Come back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Okay. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Josiah. Andy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a morning, bad dear. woman. Sir, good morning. Woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. I do. <sighs> There. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Oh, we got a what's it called? We got a rat. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way. Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. My thumb still hurt, bruh. For like eight hours. What the hell was that? We got a tip. Paul. I mean, what was that? That was a tip. That was a 10 out of 10 tip. River Pause. Through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. This literally might be my longest series, thinking about it. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going That's back what I'm about to say. Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Last time I heard that, I got kidnapped and shot and beat and are. tortured. This is the spot. So you gonna get out of here? Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Ah. There it is. Right on time. Better Their music in this game is like 10 out of 10, 10, too. See you. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay. You hear that, bro? Dun 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 dun. Turn it off. Dun 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 dun. Just stop. You hang back. 
Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. Bro, I can't speed up. Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. Build an opera house in Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Damson. Is that the way from the stop? I flatter. Stop the coach, my good man. Honest, yeah. That's what we're doing. Whoa! Miss Damson, why did you stop singing? The New York audience, they were rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't have any Three more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> what is going on? Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Okay, that was clean. She was hitting it too, though. Like, yeah, you know, she was doing what she do. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. I will. See you soon, Arthur. Peace out, big dog. 750? And there's more bounties. I cannot catch a break. Every time I get out of a mission, just bounty on bounty on bounty. What type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga? One man arm again, 50, nigga. What you gonna do that? I stand on Benny, nigga. What you do? Well, I was gonna do this mission in this video, but I guess I can record it in like 30 minutes because the bounty hunter. The bounty hunters are stopping me from being able to do this mission. So thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please do hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, the TikToks, and the YouTube shorts. And if you want to, 